Alrighty guys, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but um, it's finally time and I've got around to putting up a entire themed system. So yeah, system test 13, I believe. And this test is actually going to be kind of bittersweet because most likely this is going to be the last system test I'll be able to film before I head off to college. So yeah, it's kind of sad, but I'll be back like over Christmas and summer, so... I'll probably still be able to upload some stuff on the system. But yeah, enough talking, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so as you can see, we got a first gen Honeywell S464A. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Uh, we got Honeywell S464A right here. And all the pull stations on the system are these exact same local alarm Honeywell S464As. So I guess you already saw in the intro, but moving on to notification, this is gonna be my Honeywell uh i actually don't remember the model number it's some numbers and then after that it's 1032 which is the distinguisher for the red strobe but yeah this is a pretty rare alarm i got it brand new in box and it actually i think it's like the only one that's actually a honeywell branded device so that matches the pole stations but all the other devices were rebranded and same smoke detector because i don't really have any other ones. Moving on to the ceiling mount notification appliance spot, we have an extremely rare strobe. I think you can see a theme with the system. We have some rare stuff on it, but uh, this is a um, shoot brain. Wheelock CWS1T, which is a single gang ceiling mount uh, remote strobe, which in red is already rare, but this is in white. And this actually came in white, and it says white on the box. I'll go grab the box real quick. As you can see, here's the box, and it says white right there. So this one, there's no question about the authenticity of it. It is a genuine, from the factory, white device, because it said so on the box. And in case you're like, oh, that's just talking about the lens, it says here, lens white. So I don't know why they'd write it twice. It's pretty not disputable. Also, you're probably gonna hear in the background, there's some, these are my brother's guinea pigs. Yup, they're annoying and they squeak. So yeah. Anyway, for the notification appliance in this area, this is the new spot from a couple tests ago. It looks really nice in the opinion. We got the uh, Wheelock ET1010 WS24, shut up. Okay, WS24. And, um, this one actually, I think they usually have a Wheelock sticker, but this one doesn't. And I also got this one brand new in box from uh, Nick. Ah, what is his YouTube name? I think it's Nick Derek on YouTube. Nick Sue on Discord. But yeah, shout out to him. It's a very nice device and I got it for a pretty good deal. And then in my room, something I got off eBay recently. I couldn't pass it up. I haven't seen one in years on eBay. Uh, it is a Wheelock. Oh, shoot. Is it ET1080? WS24, I believe. And this one's kind of weird. It came in its original box, but I believe it has been installed. Um, but the box is this, ET1080 WS24. So they must have kept the box or something, but the only reason I think it's not truly new in box and it's been installed is you can see like some dirt and stuff on it and the lens is kind of scratched. So I believe something i don't know it's weird because it was also still fully fun. and nothing's really changed with the panel i mean i have wire nuts here instead of a terminal block for this thing and stuff like that but it's all pretty same and then this cable is like the programming cable for the board but yeah. all right i think i'm gonna save it for last but i can do a bit of demonstration real quick uh i'm actually gonna break one of the original like super old Honeywell brake rods that are super thick so they're actually going to be really hard to pull but I have two of them I I know some people are gonna be like oh just save them they're rare or whatever but like I have two and yeah so basically to put a brake rod in a Honeywell S464A you just open it up and there's this door here you open it and you take your brake rod is actually a pretty big brake rod like it literally has to like be pressed in and yeah there's that and then you just close the door behind it and this one kind of this is a pain to close i usually just slam it like like that and there you go 
And as you can see, there's a brake rod in there now. And it's pretty impossible to take out without breaking. All right, I think I'm actually going to start in here. But another thing, I've been talking a lot. I apologize. But the uh, there's no voice message for the system. It's just going to be doing a whoop tone. But the whoop tone's kind of cool in the fact that it's like... It's like a pretty accurate recreation. I'll probably put a clip of like the only video on YouTube that shows what it sounds like. But um, Honeywell made a line of panels back in like the 80s and 90s called the FS90. And it did like a really unique whoop tone. And I have that tone recreated and I put it on the speakers. And it's actually super loud because, yeah, you'll see. <laughs> why I didn't do any message is because like I have no idea what the message sounds like and it's like pretty much unknown to the entire community right now but yeah Without talking for another eight hours, let's go ahead and pull this. Yeah, here we go. Drone's actually pretty loud. And like, yeah, this is like actually kind of hurting my ears. Because it goes super high pitched. I mean, like, you can obviously hear it on the other floors of the house. Almost forgot. We gotta reset the pull station. I don't know why I stopped the video, but yeah. Pretty loud, pretty cool tone. I will acknowledge, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty unique. It's also pretty ear splitting for voice feedback. All right, I'm probably not gonna test every smoke detector today. Cause like, I think I did it in a different test and they're all pretty much the same. So I'll just do this one. I guess we can re-alarm with another detector. Ionization ones usually take more smoke.
The reason I shake the detectors is they like to get stuck in alarm. Yeah, it's reset. I always feel dumb doing this pull station because I always silence it super fast, but I mean... screwdriver go oh there it is oh shoot that was not smooth And for anyone wondering why I haven't used the tripod in a while, it's actually broken and it's just like barely holding together enough to record this. So yeah, let's go ahead and break this rod. Hopefully I'm actually strong enough because they're actually really hard to break. All right, let me take this off the tripod. So as you can see, among the other trash, there is now a broken rod. That was actually not as hard as I thought it would be, to be honest. It was, it was all right. It was not hard, but yeah. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, I guess I can like do my outro with the strobe going or something. Oh. Acknowledge. Oh. Thank you. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I really like this strobe. It's really cool. Uh, if it was dark out, you could see it better, but it's very red. Got the other strobe. But yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support over the years and stuff. But yeah, as far as the system test series goes, uh, this is going to be it for a couple months at least, even though I usually don't upload them very often. It's still something I feel worth mentioning. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and uh, have a good day or whatever or something. <laughs> I'm really bad at this YouTube thing.